Hey everyone, um, this is a follow-up video to the um, Toyota Engine ECU video that I did a while ago. Um, if you've not seen it, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and watch it. Uh, basically this is a, uh, a modified ECU, it's come from Japan, um, nobody really knows much about it. Um, there's been a few ideas but nothing's actually uh, proven to be exactly what it is. Um, so I'd like to know a bit more about it. now. One suggestion has been to uh, read out the EPROM that's inside this, um, read it on the PC and see if there's anything in it um, that might give us a clue on who's manufactured it. Because um, sometimes you do find in, um, in EPROMs you find uh, company names and strings and other text that can give you a clue. Um, now I've wanted to do this previously but I've not had a, an EPROM reader. So uh, I've just gone and got myself one. Um, from, this is fresh in from Hong Kong. So. Uh, We'll give this uh, give this a try, get it connected up, and um, see what we get. Okay, so uh, I've got the board out here now. Um, now, obviously, the this uh, EPROM that's in here has been um, been soldered in. It's not in a socket, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to desolder that out to get it out, so I can put it into uh, into my program. So uh, let's do some desoldering. Well, that was actually a bit of a struggle to get that out there. Um, the solder really didn't want to wick up my uh, wick on the uh, solder wick today for some reason. I don't know why. But there we go. It's out. Um, okay, so on here I've uh, selected the uh, the brand and it's uh, MBM twenty seven C two five six. Not quite there. MBM 27C256A and DIP28, that's the one. So select that. Okay, so we we do have some data out of it. So there's a lot of um, FFs and zero zeros with the occasional character. So what I'm doing here is is looking for any any text strings in in this part here, um, and obviously the uh, normally this is just like um, binary data, so there's nothing really much to see. But um, if um, occasionally uh, you do see uh, textual strings, which um, can reveal certain things. Okay, um, looking at this, it looks like there's 
there's two blocks of very similar data. Um, you've got a section here which is 00FF, 00FF, with a few random characters, which then does get a bit more complicated here and here. And then if you get past that, it then goes back to the 00 and FF. And then you get that data again. So I wonder whether this might actually be two um, fueling maps or ignition maps or something. Um, on the uh, if we uh, look at this board on the the, the dip switches here, um, it has been suggested that they are switches um, to select different maps. Um, that the the CPU then um, then uses to to run the engine. So you could have a, a rich map and a lean map, for example. Um, and I wonder whether that's what this is because I don't think there's enough code in here to run the to run the entire ECU. That there's um, there's two blocks of data. You got a block here and a block here. So I wonder whether these are two fuel maps that you could switch between. Okay, so I'm just going to solder this back in. Now, I don't actually have a socket of the right size, unfortunately, so I've just chopped a bigger one down. So. So uh, not a huge amount of information um, gained from this exercise, uh, but it didn't take long to uh, unsolder and, and read, read everything out. Um, I'm going to do some additional investigation into what's in, in this at prom. Um, I'll do that um, offline, um, see what comes back. If I get anything in interesting, I'll do a follow-up video. Okay, uh, thanks for watching everybody. If uh, you've got any questions, comments, of course they go in the comments section. Hit the like button if you like this. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.